I have gone off the deep end, folks, and I thought, what about making Minecraft as difficult as possible? What if we could make it the most challenging game ever? Not actually, it probably won't be that. But I did go and make the seven most cursed chest plates you should never craft inside Minecraft, and I'm gonna show you what each of them do right now. And because things are about to get intense, I safely stored everything in that chest over there, and now we're going to run a decent distance away so we can get this first chest plate crafted and as you can see i've got a lot of tnt right here we're gonna pack it all into a chest plate we're gonna see what happens if we do that what exactly will unfold well we're gonna find out folks we've got ourselves a tnt chest plate here and as you can see a beautiful chest plate an excellent piece of armor highly recommended as long as you don't take any damage whatsoever because the moment that you take damage wearing a tnt chest plate things are gonna go a wire off the charts extremely fast and i just want to make this extremely cool so let's go and fight something because if we didn't have a shield on hand which you're about to see right here we can bring this into a dead end let's go a different direction we find a zombie and we want to engage but be very careful and have a way out because if we take any damage right here yep okay yep and you can see okay gosh goodness gracious the this feels like the worst demonstration ever because it just flashed before my eyes if we have no way of defending ourselves as soon as we hit the spider listen very carefully for the ignite go up to the spider hits me we ignited but i can take the chest plate off i can't take the chest plate i thought i could take it off we can defend ourselves one way or another though we can quickly craft ourselves a shield okay we got the shield on hand and now if we wanted to we could safely go into the caves because if we manage to absorb the blow with the shield our chest plate will not ignite but take the chest plate off if you want to survive your adventures because if you do as little as take some fall damage instant ignite <laughs> might as well start things off with a bag though things you should never craft in minecraft one of seven tnt chest plate do not strap tnt to your chest this is a really bad idea if you guys want me to test stuff like this on a regular basis then leave a like down below i have a feeling none of these are going to work out very well we're gonna place some ender pearls inside the crafting table and then we're gonna fill the rest of the space with some iron ingots and we're going to infuse those ender pearls into the extravagance that is the iron and craft ourselves an ender pearl chest plate and put this thing on and be very careful instantaneously because approximately every five seconds this ender pearl chest plate has a small chance of teleporting us in a random direction but we can slowly run around and just see what happens as we move it might happen it may not happen i believe the chance of teleporting is roughly 50 percent and so at any point we could be teleported directly into the there we go that teleported us forward so that was actually a fantastic teleport i just hope it doesn't shoot us straight up into the sky <laughs> we just moved again from back there over to this location okay it's happening every time right now so far we've had three teleports and they've all been safe though if we were to shoot for that mountain over there normally we'd be able to just run directly to it do we get there in a decent amount of time or do we randomly teleport and lose our life however if we're nearby the water we may be okay okay i just ran into the water probably going on top of the mountain is a really bad idea but we're gonna do it anyways just to see what happens if we do holy nuts no we just teleported right to the top of the mountain and then teleported right back down again i feel like i should take this thing off but i want to just see how many teleports it takes to teleport us right into the sky right now and it's so far been roughly a safe experience and then just like that if however we don't want to worry about falling in somewhere and just 
hitting the ground with an extreme amount of force, we can craft the highly inconvenienced honey chest plate. This thing is very basic and it does pretty much exactly what you would expect it to do with a couple bottles of honey and you are sticky as could ever could be. We can still do just as we normally would, except the thing is that uh, we can't jump. We cannot jump anywhere wearing the honey chest plate. No matter how hard I try, I am smashing my keyboard right now. Come on, jump. I can take it off and then we can jump just fine. No chest plate, no worries. But as soon as we put the honey chest plate on, our jumping capabilities have been reduced to nothingness. We can no longer do anything that we normally would be able to do. In fact, we can't walk up anywhere. However, if we come to say something like this, now this is where the honey chest plate might actually come in handy. Pull this thing down, put it on. And now we've got the chest plate that should, I hope, large amount on that hope. But my hope is that this honey chest plate will actually stick to the side of this wall and we'll be able to safely fall down. Now that was exactly, hey, precisely what I was hoping for. But perhaps you're still thinking, hey, those chest plates, although bad, aren't necessarily worthless. If you're gonna say never craft it, then you gotta have something totally totally worthless well i thought you might say so i thought you might say so i have created a paper chest plate this is a chest plate that you would never ever 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 think to run into battle with you throw this thing on it is the most useless piece of armor you could ever wear do not pick up your axe in medieval times running into battle wearing a chest plate made of paper one reason why you wouldn't want to do this is because you can walk into battle and you would be all right at least until you meet the other end of a spear but if you decide to get a little bit invigorated and start running unfortunately the wind <laughs> destroyed your paper if you get going too fast the wind's gonna pick up and it's gonna rip the paper right off your chest the other reason why you may not want to craft yourself a paper chest plate is that if you ever find yourself faced with the energy of water you have to drink a glass of water because maybe you're a little bit parched uh okay guys i promise you now i will not sprint with this paper on i will keep the paper 100 secure all right i'm using one finger right now to walk safely to the water to show you how unsafe the water is if i drink a glass of water you may know paper does not do well in water and as soon as we touch the water the chest plate's also removed paper chest plate he can't run in it he can't touch the water utterly useless the most useless chest plate ever do not ever 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 craft a paper chest plate now that we've delivered on the title because i'm sure you were saying i don't think those are useless let's move to something a tad more interesting and that my friends is our emerald chest plate and this thing can be used if you want outside of anybody that wants emeralds but you know who does like emeralds villagers love emeralds and if we take that thing that is most valuable to the villagers you can see all of them want the emerald look at them staring with those greedy emerald eyes we got to get away safely because they might chase us down they're all watching me all because i have a chest plate full of their most prized good but the worst part is not that they stare you down because it's okay to get looks that's totally fine you just might have a you know some good drip that day and people want to watch you because you got the new kicks but if you attempt to engage any of these villagers and trade with them this emerald chest plate will be ripped off of your chest furiously you can see watch what happens i tried to trade he said no i tried to trade 
he said no but if i find a villager that will trade with me because he's hidden inside the safety of his own house and he sees the chest plate though but i grab that emerald instantly i start taking damage he's a uh, has attacked the chest plate and there is no going back from this when you have the emerald chest plate on and you make any trade with a single villager any villager for that matter as long as you can find one that's willing to trade with you slowly your fate has been determined and you will drip down to the bare bone and ever so helplessly eventually you will be consumed and slowly after being completely consumed by a villager i thought to myself is it possible to have too much of a good thing and that's when i came up with the armor stacked chest plate and this thing is definitely too much of a good thing that's great look at all that armor we can pile it up in here and using all of this armor we can get ourselves one of the super iron chest plates and put this thing on oh great if we follow this process over and over and over again we will eventually have enough super iron chest plates in order to craft ourselves a mega iron chest plate and if we repeat this process over and over and over again for, for for a few more rounds it actually is quite a bit of work one of the main reasons why you should never do this we will eventually get eight mega iron chest plates and we can stack them together to create ourselves the armor stacked chest plate and if we decide to ourselves to throw this on all of our armor it takes up our entire screen armor stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks and this is very useful we find ourselves in a situation where we're getting attacked from all sides and we don't know where to turn luckily we'll have a few more seconds in our favor at the same time we do have this absurd level of armor across our entire screen that just makes minecraft nearly unplayable but can we take damage using this will it absorb this fall damage looks like it will will it absorb a few creepers do we j dare jump over there i think we must okay here we go it those creepers just definitely blew up and we took almost no damage i wish i would have stood right in front of him here we go come over here i'm gonna stand right in front of this creeper right now and see what happens absolutely zero so i guess i take it back a little bit uh that this should never be crafted if you do want to spend the time to craft what is that you've got eight times eight times eight i don't have to worry about this zombie that's walking up on me right now because i have basic complete invincibility in order to get this chest plate you need 512 iron chest plates and it takes eight iron ingots to get an iron chest plate so if my calculations are correct which there's a good chance they're not because my mathematician skills are not as good as einstein's that is 4096 iron ingots needed to craft this chest plate to have invincibility but also a quarter of your screen completely removed but i have got one more chest plate i need to show you guys and this thing is less intrusive but also equally ridiculous it's gonna take a lot of beds eight beds not as bad as 4096 iron ingots but we're gonna toss all these beds inside the crafting table in the chest plate layout and we're gonna get ourselves the bed chest plate looks very similar to the paper chest plate except the bed chest plate is going to constantly set our respawn point so if we are to get ourselves nuked for a random reason like jumping off of this repeatedly and if by chance we happen to just fall to pieces because we're being silly and we respawn we will respawn right on top of our last location which may in theory seem like a great idea except for when you think about what might happen if you happen to be wearing your bed chest plate and i don't know say accidentally dig straight down into a pool of lava you may as well be playing hardcore mode because you are going to spawn 
right above where this lava last nuked you and every time you respawn you're going to spawn right inside the lava with basically zero hope of ever getting out except for maybe if we can possibly get a little closer over and over again where's where, where, where's my edge right there right there right there right there and maybe we can survive perhaps we can survive don't die no and our eight beds are somewhere in that pit of doom